congratulations to Uma University that graduation ceremony. I also want to take this opportunity to congratulate also students for the success. And also to thank all students for the effort that, that they made throughout their courses. I'd like to wish them all the best.
Mustachan Salasa, all protocol observed, and uh, today is our unique third Umma University graduation. We are going to start our program. I would like to invite our University Imam, Mr. Rashid Golo, to lead us in prayer. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsan ila yawm al-deen amma ba'd. All praise is to Allah, the cherisher and the sustainer of the world. O oh Allah, strengthen our belief, relieve our stress and worry, discharge our debts, heal our sick, ease our suffering, guide our stray, Help us overcome the, our difficulties and conceal our shortcomings so we can withstand the hardships, life hardships, constraints and difficulties. O oh Allah, grant us the best of character and make us among those who listen and follow the best of what they listen to. O oh Allah, the Most High, who deserve to be praised and glorified, we ask you to guide and enrich with your mercy the members of Board of Trustees, the Chancellor, the Council, the Vice-Chancellor, the University Management Board, to give them wisdom and knowledge and guide their decision to the best that pleases you. O oh Allah, bless all those who donated their time, wealth, and intelligence to this university and to other humanity courses. Bless them, bless them with their families and their children and their wealth. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them happy in this world and hereafter. O oh Allah, we ask you for your blessings to be upon all, all those who graduate today. Bless their lives from this day on with goodness and love. Help them to stay true to their dreams, to use these gifts wisely, and to walk into the future with faith, hope, great, and great love. We pray that as they go out to make the world a better place, they might continue to share their personal and active faith in you. May they continue to respect, the inter to respect intellectual values and share the fruit of their knowledge. May their commitment to social awareness and action make a positive difference in this world. May they, through their ongoing growth in wisdom and grace, bring others joy and happiness as they share their talents in the world, in the world, in the, in the wider world. ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين Allow me to invite our Vice Chancellor, Dr. Idle Farah, to constitute the congregation. Mr. Chancellor Sa, Uma University, Statute 32, Article 6, states that the Vice Chancellor shall declare a congregation of a university a meeting convened for the purpose of conferring degrees and awarding diplomas and certificates. I now, therefore, call upon the Vice Chancellor to constitute the third graduation of Uma University. Mr. Chancellor Sarah, Uma University Statute 32, Article 6, states that the Vice Chancellor shall declare a congregation of the university a meeting convened for the purpose of conferring degrees and awarding diplomas and certificates. I, therefore, now constitute the third congregation of Uma University. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor, sir, 
uh, in the year academic year 2019-2020, we have a total of 443 graduates. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate all our, all our graduates for the job well done. We are proud of you. In this group, our Chancellor Sir, we have two best students. The first student is uh, Ifrah Abdinur, who is from the School of Nursing. We have the second best student, who is Abdullah Ahmed Mohammed, who is from the School of Sharia and Islamic Studies. He's doing Bachelor of Arts in Islamic Sharia. So today with us, we have Ifrah Abdinur, who is the best student from the School of Nursing. I would like to invite Ifrah to give her speech. Thank you. The Chancellor of Uma University, Board of Trustees, University Council, the Vice Chancellor, University Management, faculties, staff members, graduates, and the viewers. Salam alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and good morning. For the benefits of my fellow nursing graduates and the entire medical practitioners, I will begin by admitting that I'm currently experiencing diaphoresis, tachypnea, and tachycardia. And for everyone else wondering, the meaning of these terminologies, this translates to profuse sweating, rapid breathing, and rapid heart rate. So please forgive me in case I'm overwhelmed by this joy and start shaking. I would like to take this opportunity to thank those who have attended this great ceremony and those who have been curtailed by COVID-19 pandemic. This marks the third graduation ceremony of Uma University. We never thought this day would come. We prayed for its quick, quick delivery as we counted semesters, months, weeks, and hours. I'm Ifra Abdinur, a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Nursing. First, let me take this opportunity to thank Almighty Allah for this privilege of being the best student graduating among the class of 2020. As many of you may know, nurses are said to be lifelong learners, continuously expanding their knowledge, advancing their skills, and adapting their practice. As I stand here today, I can't help but think of how far we've come since our roller coaster of learning journey began. This journey would not have been possible without the support of our parents and family members for financial and psychological support. Over the years, I'm sure many of you did not recognize the stressed out, sleep deprived creatures we transformed into, especially during exam times. I would like also to take this opportunity to thank our lecturers for their mentorship, for putting up with us, and I can say without a doubt that your support, guidance, and the challenges you put before us, despite our many, many objections, have helped shape us today. This journey will not have been possible without your support too. Last but not least, I would like to thank my, my friends and colleagues for your support and for everything we went through together. We studied together, proofread each other's work, and understood each other's humor. On behalf of nursing graduates, I thank Uma University Fraternity for their support in making us better nurses, who will be the future for tomorrow, and we promise that we'll be at the forefront when implementing our services. We salute you and God bless you. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor Sa, allow me to invite Uma University Vice Chancellor Dr. Idle Farah to address the gathering. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. The Chancellor of my University, Dr. Abbas Gulaid, members of the Board of Trustees, with the Secretary General present here, Dr. Ismail Hassan, 
The chairman of council joining us all the way from Kuwait, Dr. Abdul Rahman Al Muhailan, members of Oma University Council present here and those who are joining us uh, remotely, staff and students of Oma University, graduates, parents, friends, and family of graduates. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and good morning. Mr. Chancellor, it gives me great pleasure and delight to welcome you all to the third congregation of Uma University for the purposes of conferring degrees and awarding diplomas and certificates to our 2020 graduates. Some of our esteemed members of Board of Trustees and members of Council are joining us digitally from many different localities in the globe the entire family of direct aid, our gracious sponsor of this university, are also tuned in from Kuwait headquarters, and believe it or not, in over 30 regional offices in Africa. Mr. Chancellor, in the year 2019-2020 academic year, we are pleased, pleased to present to you a total of 443 students who have satisfied the Senate for the award of various qualifications for which they enrolled, studied, trained, and worked on. Among them, we have 337 students from the School of Business and Technology. We also have 94 students from the School of Islam, uh, Islamic Studies. And we have 12 from the School of Nursing. We have a fairly good balance in gender. A number of them have joined us on Zoom and other platforms, averaging about 55% males and 45% females. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate all 443 great ones. Well done, and I pray and wish you well in your future endeavors. Mr. Chancellor, as we can see from the congregation, this is the third cohort of students who are graduating from Uma University. Bringing the total number after we have added 443 to 1,940 students who have graduated from Uma University since we attained letter of interim authority in 2013. And the 443 will be the first ones to graduate since we attained our charter. However, I would like to state, uh, Chancellor, that there's a larger group of alumni <coughs> who are apparently more passionate and more fiercely loyal to Uma University. And these are the students who graduated from the Thika College of Islamic and Sharia Studies since 1997, the mother institution that gave rise and birth to Uma University. The mandate and objectives of any higher institution, Mr. Chancellor, are universal and revolve around several aspects. First and foremost, our great responsibility is to do teaching, training, mentoring, and transferring knowledge to the younger generation to prepare them for the job market and their future endeavors. Secondly, is to undertake research to create and disseminate new knowledge, to offer knowledge-based solutions to problems afflicting society and humanity in totality, as well as conduct consultancies. Thirdly, a university must do community outreach, corporate social responsibility, and giving back to society. Finally, any university worth its salt must contribute tangibly to the national development goals of the country and the global SDGs or MDGs. Despite the disruptions occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic, Chancellor, we have continued with teaching and learning through online remote teaching. We have also installed a platform for access to our library resources. Evidently though, the adoption of e-learning is not without its own challenges. About 30% of our students are still not able to access the learning platform for challenges that are not of their own making. Some of our staff as well have difficulties in accessing uh, the learning platform. 
However, by and large, almost 70% of the teaching and learning is ongoing. My gratitude to the academic members of staff who have worked tirelessly and who have adopted so quickly to the e-learning platform, as well as our resilient students who have managed to join the online platform. Mr. Chancellor, over the years, enrollment of students continues to steadily rise at Uber University. We've also added additional study programs. And in September, we'll be joined by another 498 government-sponsored students through the Kenya University Central Placement Board. In 2019, we also initiated the Masters in Business Administration and Bachelor of Education Arts uh, to our new uh, educational programs. Already two cohorts of MBA have been uh, admitted, and we are now also at the third cohort for Bachelor of Education Arts. Our signature course that we want to introduce is Islamic and Sharia Studies, and that is just about to be uh, approved. Chancellor, we have also accomplished numerous research projects as well as local and international partnerships, workshops, seminars, conferences, too many to list in such a brief ceremony. Some of these partnerships do include the Ivy Business School, Western University in Canada, Nagasaki University in Japan. Uh, however, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, a number of students who are lecturers who are supposed to visit us will not be able to do so this year. Chairman, uh, Chancellor, I would like to pay great tribute to the African Educational Development Trust, who have signed an MOU with the Direct Aid International, as well as Uber University, to provide a unique higher education financing, the Uber University Students Support Program. We are also grateful to Triple IT, this International Institute of Islamic Thought, who have sponsored two of our academic staff to undertake PhD from this year. Chancellor, as an Islamic faith-based university, we would like to be at the forefront to provide knowledge-based solutions to inter-religious dialogue, inter-religious tolerance, cohesion, and social transformation. We have a robust partnership with Tagaza University College, a constituent college of Catholic University of Eastern Africa, and together we have further partnered with Kajiado County on a number of projects on capacity building, training for community leaders, and grassroots administrators. Mr. Chancellor, integration of Islamic education in the form of madrasas to the mainstream competence-based curriculum of Kenya has been a long-standing intractable problem, not just in Kenya, but also in the region. In 2019, Uma University led a continental-wide effort towards finding a solutions, durable solutions, which culminated in the largest ever international Islamic education conference that was held here in our Kajiado campus on the 14th to 16th of December. And I would like to thank the School of Islamic and Sharia Studies for organizing this. We had about 12 African countries represented and seven other nationalities from outside Africa. We will all also recall uh, Chancellor, the mass transfers of secondary and primary school teachers from northern region, northern Kenyan counties, as a result of insecurity. Again, this has been too often a repeated cycle. And as Oma University, we're trying our level best to see how we can come up with long-lasting solutions to this. As of now, we have signed a partnership with Wajia County Government to train about 150 teachers per year for the next four years. In this partnership, Oma University as well as Wajia County will provide tuition fees for the students. Mr. Chancellor, in health research, we have a number of joint projects that we are doing with a number of universities. The development of a model care for early cancer management. We also have the multi-drug resistant TB in Mombasa. Lastly, but by no means the least, Uma University has led the Islamic National Muslim COVID-19 response team 
comprising of medical and public health practitioners, academics, religious scholars, imams of major mosques, and leadership of the Muslims in Kenya in general. This national COVID-19 response team is actually chaired by Professor Mohamed Karama, and we are glad that he was able to join us today for this graduation. The deliverables, as part of UMA's responsibility to this committee, has been a manual guide that has, uh, gives us clear guidelines on the home-based care and infection prevention in COVID-19 positive patients. And also, there's a guide on how to inter and bury patients that have uh, COVID-19 positive from an Islamic perspective. They are now currently working on protocols for reopening of mosques uh, once the entire national COVID-19 uh, COVID steering committee accepts the report. As I conclude my remarks, uh, uh, Chancellor, Uma University is a member of the African Association of Universities, the Inter Council Universities of Eastern Africa, the Kenyan Association of Private Universities, and now more lately with the Direct Aid Associated Universities Consortium, uh, Direct Aid Sponsored uh, Universities Consortium. I would like and I'm very pleased to announce that the first cohort of nursing students, nine of them who graduated last year, undertook their national examinations last year, and all of them passed with flying colors. We're grateful that uh, Uma University staff at the nursing school for a good training for our students. And to the 12th of graduating this year, you have an uphill task because you have, the bar has been set very high for you. As I conclude my remarks, let me once again congratulate the 2020 class. Hard work, discipline, and integrity will be your guiding light to prosperity and success, both here on earth and in the hereafter. It was a really pleasure to have you and a joy to be with you during your term at Uma. And we release you out, trusting that you have been equipped with life skills that you will need. Chancellor, it will be impossible for me to conclude and finish without explaining why we have this kind of a unique graduation ceremony today. We all remember our captivating cabinet secretary for health, Honorable Mutahi Kagwe, with his booming voice. If we continue to behave normally, this disease will treat us abnormally. And so here we are today celebrating a perfectly abnormal graduation ceremony, where face masks have become part of the academic regalia, and we have sanitizers where we used to have our mineral water. However, we have recalibrated that abnormal to now what we are calling the new normal. So now this is the new normal virtual graduation that we are hosting today. Admittedly, we surely miss the fanfare, the color, the pomp, the excitement, the photo ops of graduating students and their parents. But as Theodore Roosevelt has said often, do what you can with what you have right where you are. And such is life. And today we have our first virtual graduation. Thank you, Chancellor, and God bless Uma University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, before I leave the podium, it's my duty and honor to invite the Chairman of Council, Dr. Abdurrahman Rukhailan, joining us all the way from Kuwait to make his remarks on behalf of the Council. I hope our technology people will be able to connect us. Thank you very much. Good morning. All oh, raises 
I do to the Almighty Allah, who has empowered us to hold this auspicious occasion of the third graduation ceremony of Umar University. Congratulations to all of the graduating students of class 2020, together with your parents, guardians, and friends. You have spent your time at Ummah Rebentary and your hard work is today being recognized with this graduation ceremony. I also extend sincere thanks to the Council and Management of the University for ensuring that the academic and administrative operations of the University have been continued despite the COVID-19 global pandemic which has disturbed in major ways the social and economic lives of all across the world. Indeed, the technology we can keep our education institutes operational in the face of this health crisis. Mr. Chancellor, I wish to ensure you and the government of Kenya that Umba University has strictly adhered to the government directives to curb and contain COVID-19 infection and spread. The university closed its campuses on the 16th of March, 2020, and suspended all face-to-face -face teaching, and the staff members were requested to work from home, except for those in the essential services. It is for this reason that we are holding this third graduate ceremony on a virtual platform in line with social distancing or distancing and, dis and dis restricting movement across countries and even within Kenya. And in a way, all the public health directives, we still went ahead to ensure continuity in our teaching and learning to our online platform. And I am pleased to report that despite challenges of internet connectivity in the country, we have kept the academic program of the university operation. Alhamdulillah, the 2019-2020 academic year has been a good year for my university. Notably, it is the year we attained our long, hard search for charter. We must thank the Commission of the University Education the Ministry of Education and His Excellency President Tohoro Kenyatta for guiding us and approval to award Umma University the Charter. It was indeed a great moment of joy and happiness when His Excellency President Kenyatta signed and handed over the Charter to you, Mr. Chancellor, on the 18th of October 2019 in the historic city of Mombasa. Additionally, we have seen increased number of students and mission, and also greater and more output from our university in research, international and national conferences, workshop, symposium. We have relaunched our unique students financing program, the Umma University Student Support Program, UUSSP, in December 2019, transforming it into a much bigger, easier to access fund and with more number of beneficiaries. In 2020, we have a total of 454 students who benefit in all of the categories of scholarship and interest fee loans. We look forward to 2020-2021 academic year to consolidate and build a home again made this year. Let me take this opportunity to thank our respected elder and academic, Professor Abdul Rafur Al Busaid, who stepped down as the chairman of the board of trustees, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and also wish him a good health, inshallah. Professor Busaidi has been a great pillar of strength and has been part of Ummah Deen right from its inception. We shall forever be grateful to him. Similarly, let me thank Honorable Senator Yusuf Haji, a wise gentleman, for accepting 
to take over the chairman of the which is Senator Yusuf Haji. We have a great asset. Appreciate from his wisdom. We are also grateful to the Board of Trustees for appointing of the new council in December 2019. And may I take this opportunity to thank the former council members before this new council. And I have met this council, the new council, of the distinguished men and women and I am confident that they will be injected the much needed in the US and drive to take the university to the next level. Thank you, Chancellor, for ensuring that the third graduation ceremony takes place and to all those who have worked hard to ensure this graduation become a, a resound success in the end with relevant regulatory framework as provided by the Commission for the University. As I conclude my remarks, let me state that the ceremony, the third graduation in the three years, shall never pass without us spending time to Umma University, the late Dr. Abdurrahman Sumay, may Allah grant him paradise. We pay tribute to the organization he left behind which he founded, and that is Direct Aid International, the sponsor of Omo University. May Allah continue to plus the work of Direct Aid and give the strength to all workers and supporters and the donors of Direct Aid. We are very grateful of the full support of the government of Kuwait and the personal leadership and support of, Highness, of His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Sabah. Finally, let me congratulate once again the 2020 graduating class from my university had indeed prepared you well and without a doubt you are ready for the job market. Your effort and hard work have not gone in vain and we are proud to celebrate you as you receive your degree, diploma, certificate. May Allah bless Umma University all. Wa salamun ala musaleen. Wa alhamdulillah Thank you very much, Chairman, Dr. Mahailan. Mr. Chasalasa, it's now the time for the Chairman of the Board of Trustees, the Honorable Muhammad Yusuf Haji, who has uh, sent apologies for this morning and uh, due to some urgent matters that have just come up. On hand to read his speech on our behalf, on his behalf, sorry, Chancellor, is Dr. Halim Masaado Abdullah Abdullahi, who is also the Vice Chair of uh, Uma University Council. Welcome, Dr. Halim. The Chancellor, sir, members of the Board of Trustees, members of the University Council, University Management, students, guardians, and graduates. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, and good morning. I will read this speech on behalf of uh, the Chair of the Board of Trustees, Honorable Senator Mohammed Yusuf Haji. I am delighted to participate in the third graduation of our university being held uh, as a virtual graduation. Mr. Chancellor, sir, let me first congratulate the entire class of 2020 at this moment when you'll crown their success by awarding them their various qualifications for which they have been trained and recognized. Well done to the graduates and we wish you all well in your future endeavors. Even though I have been part and parcel of the UMA University of Board of Trustees right from its inception, it is my first graduation since I assumed the chairmanship of the trust board. I wish to therefore convey my sincere gratitude and appreciation to the Direct Aid International for this appointment and entrusting me with this enormous task. I pray to Almighty Allah to guide me and give me the foresight, just like our founder, Dr. Abdurrahman al sumaid to lead this first Islamic university in Kenya to greater heights. Thanks also to Dr. Abdurrahman al muhalain Chairman of the Council, and yourself, Chancellor Dr. Abbas Gulet, 
and I look forward to your further support to enable the Board of Trustees to for provide the necessary guidance to stay at the university. Final, finally, let me play, pay special attribute or special tribute to my predecessor, Professor Abdul Ghafur Al Busaid, an assertive leader, a distinguished scholar, and a great mentor to many who has stayed at Uma University from its inception in 2013 till when it attained charter status in October 2019. May Allah bless you, Professor Al Busaid, and grant you good health. Under my leadership, the Board of Trustees, guided by the vision of our founder, Dr. Sumait, and the noble objectives of our sponsor, Direct Aid International of Service to Humanity, with emphasis to the poor, needy, marginalized, and downtrodden, I will work hard to ensure we reach as many young students in Kenya and beyond to access quality education in Kenya. The main objective of the Board of Trustees is to provide the best facilities, infrastructures, equipment, in general, an enabling environment that will spur growth of quality higher education, innovation, and creativity. To this end, we are pleased to note that the first two infrastructure projects and the associated sports facility that costed 1.3 billion Kenya shilling is now complete and in use. This imposing building right in front of us stands as a testimony to this. We will be forever grateful to Direct Aid for fundraising for the entire sum of money. Secondly, Direct Aid has signed an agreement with the UMA University Council and Africa Foundation Development Trust, Education Development Trust to set up a revolving fund of Kenya shillings 1.2 billion under the program UMA University Student Support Program, a new student financing program offering scholarships and interest-free loans to our students. In 2020 alone, a total number of five, 454 students are earmarked to benefit from this program. In the interest of internationalization of the university, Direct Aid International is sponsoring students from the rest of African continent to join UMA University. This year, we have received 11 Zambian students under this program. In all the things that we do, we are completely faithful to our core values and our Islamic faith based on ethics to inculcate high moral values and a culture of excellence and well-trained technical students for the job market. As I conclude my remarks, let me thank the Council and the management for ensuring continuity in learning during the COVID-19 pandemic. This virtual graduation is a proof enough to the determination of the management to keep the academic program of Uber University running. Well done. Finally, congratulations once again to the 2020 graduating students. Please represent UMA University whenever your future endeavor places you. Thank you and please stay safe. Let us all adhere to the COVID-19 preventive intervention. May God bless Uma University. May God bless you all. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor, sir, in the year 2019, Uma University got two important uh, certification or recognition. The first one was award of charter. The second one was ISO certification. Today with us is Boniface from who is certification manager from Bureau of Veritas who is going to hand over the certificate, ISO certificate to Uma University. I would like to welcome to invite our Chancellor together with our Vice Chancellor to receive the award on behalf of Uma University. Thank you. Sir, 
It's now my distinct honor and pleasure to welcome you, to make your remarks, and also award the diplomas and degrees and confer uh, all that appertains to the students. Welcome, Chesson. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and good morning to you all. I'm delighted to preside over this third historic graduation ceremony of Uma University. This graduation is an addition and I probably should start again. I just want to say to the Board of Trustees, to the Council, to the Vice Chancellor and the management of Uma University and for the graduating students, uh, good morning and assalamu alaikum. I'm delighted to preside over this third historic graduation ceremony of Uma University. This graduation edition is unique in more than one way. First, the courtesy of the global COVID pandemic, this will be the first virtual ceremony to the university and the only third in Kenya after Dedan Kimathi University of Science and Technology as well as Riara University. Secondly, it is the first graduation after the award of the charter to our university. Lastly, this being the third graduation in three consecutive years, this virtual graduation is a testimony that Uma University is determined to maintain its academic calendar despite the global crisis of the coronavirus disease. A couple of weeks ago when the Vice Chancellor in the company of the Vice Chair of the Council, Dr. Halima Sado, came to brief me that we would need to hold the third graduation in our traditional month of June, I did not hesitate for even one second. My response to them was that the proposed date and time, uh, proposed date and time, and I'll be there. We have no reason not to graduate our students and their supportive parents who have worked so hard for this day. So here we are, still fulfilling the dreams of our 2020 graduates. To the class of 2020, my, may I first and foremost offer you my heartiest congratulations to you and thank you and your parents and your guardians for unfailing support that they have given you. Indeed, we are grateful that you chose to study at Uma University and as you complete your academic journey today, you will forever be a member of the Uma family. So we say thank you and heko kwa kazi njema. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my third graduation to preside over since I was integrated to be the Chancellor some four years ago. I have seen this institution make remarkable growth over this period of time in terms of students and staff numbers, infrastructure, academic programs, and participation in community engagement. Our magnificent phase two infrastructure projects are complete and in use, as we can see before us this morning. Significantly, our status has now been changed to fully chartered ISO certified university. May I express our collective gratitude to our sponsors, Direct Aid, the respected members of the Board of Trustees under the leadership of Senator Yusuf Haji, a man whose reputation precedes him. The Uma University Council under the chairmanship of Abdurrahman Muhailan, Dr. Muhailan, for wisely steering the university and for providing the massive resources for this exponential infrastructural development. I think not many words can be said on how grateful we are for direct aid and our brothers and sisters from Kuwait for having held our hands from inception to where we are today, without whose support we probably would not have seen this university. And I just want to say that we are grateful and will continue to be grateful to them for their continued support. However, the challenge is also on us to make sure that we take over the responsibility of graduating, becoming a self-sustaining university. We are grateful to the outgoing chair of the BAT, Professor Abdul Ghafur El Usaidi, for his long and exemplary services to Uma University until the university got its charter and to congratulate at the same time Senator Yusuf Haji for taking over the chairmanship of the Board of Trustees. 
Umma University is indebted to both Professor Abdul Kafur and Sen Senator Haji for their long and exemplary and unwavering dedication to ensuring that this first Islamic university in Kenya is, is fully functional. I mean, really, we should be very grateful to these two distinguished gentlemen who are also leaders of the Muslim Umma in this country for many, many, many years between them. And although that uh, Professor Abdul Khafur has resigned, his heart is still with this university. And may Allah bless him wherever he is. And at the same time, I just also want to say, in our prayers, we should remember today, one of the Board of Trustees, Professor Naji, who is not very well and who has been hospitalized in Mombasa, please let us remember him in our prayers. We will never forget to remember and pray for our founder, Dr. Abdurrahman al sumait whose exemplary and foresight and vision was a first seed planted at Umar University. May Allah reward him immensely and grant him the highest Jannah in heaven. On the 18th of October 2019 marks a historic landmark in the history of Umar University, the day that we were awarded the charter. On behalf of our university, let me send our utmost sincere thanks and pay glowing, pay glowing, glowing tri tribute to His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta for graciously approving our charter award and for finding time to personally hand over the charter to us in a benefiting ceremony in State House Mombasa. We are also forever grateful to the Cabinet Secretary Professor George Makoha, Minister of Education. Lastly, but not certainly not least, to the Commission of University Education through Chairman Professor Chacha Nyangoti Chacha and Professor Mwenda for diligently guiding us through the charter process that took us a number of years. Ladies and gentlemen, great progress has been made to establish Uma University on a firm foundation to future prosperity. We must celebrate these successes. However, the reality is that the journey ahead is much tougher much longer and much more difficult. We have entered a highly competitive social service market segment. In Kenya alone, we have 74 universities, and in this digital age, students can learn from the comfort of their homes in Kenya and graduate in universities in America, in Europe, Asia. For us to stay competitive, I think one need not to say that this is a competition for students is a cutthroat. And for us, while we thank our sponsors and donors over the years, time has come when we must also be seen to be serious with what we are doing. For us to be able to go out and recruit as many students as possible so that we can be able to sustain ourselves. Today, probably we are the only or one of the very few universities that have no financial debt and other liabilities that we're able to, through the support of our donors, able to meet our obligation. But sooner or later, we want to be on our own. Sooner or later, we want to be financially sustainable and independent so that our donors can go and help other needy students from other parts of this continent. And I think this is the challenge that I pose to the new council and the management. And I want to really say that we're very fortunate for the new council that came in December last year because they are men and women of high character, men and women of high value, men and women who can make the difference that we aspire for. So my challenge to the council that is led by Dr. Mohelan, but deputized by Dr. Halima Saado and the rest of Kenyans, I hope and pray that sooner or later we will see that we become more sustainable so that we can ask our donors to help other needy sisters and brothers. While we are not saying we don't need support, we need the support, but we will have to take further responsibility ourselves. And this is the challenge that I throw to the Vice Chancellor and to the Council. The only way to beat competition is to offer quality education that trains students for skills and market demands. To attain that, we have to up our game and establish a culture of excellence and a culture of hard work. We must leverage on Uma University Student Support Program as a unique student financing system to attract higher grade students with financial difficulties. Finally, let me thank the Vice Chancellor and the entire management, especially the academic members of staff, as well as the students, for stepping up to ensure continuity in the 
academic programs of our university when the global pandemic uh, COVID-19 swept across the world. And it shows, it shows leadership because the world around us is changing. And if we're not going to change with the changes that are happening, we will be swept aside and we cannot afford to be swept aside. Hence, this graduation today is a testimony to that swiftness that the management took into consideration in coming up with the e-learning platforms. And I will challenge the Vice Chancellor. The 30% of students that we have seen are not yet linked. And for some of the academic staff that are not linked, there is our whole some responsibility and challenge to ensure that each and everyone is linked and no one is left behind for any reason for that matter, because we want all our students to enjoy the same services. I want to say as Anteni Sana for your swift adoption to digital learning. This will now be adopted as a new norm to our graduates, without whom we will not be here today. I want to say congratulations once again, and it is my distinct honor and now to confer upon you the powers to read and write and do all that appertains to your respective qualification. May God bless Uma University, God bless our students and our lecturers and our, and our, uh, and our, academic, um, uh, our academic team, and God bless Uma University and God bless Kenya. Thank you very much. Mr. Chancellor Sir, I now call upon the deans of his schools to present their candidates for the award and confirmation of respective certificate, diplomas, degrees of Uma University in the following order. Dean, School of Business and Technology. Dean, School of Nursing and Midwifery. Dean, School of Sharia and Islamic Studies. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor Sir, in the year 2019-2020 academic year, the following 11 candidates whom I have the honor to present to you satisfied the Board of Examiners in the School of Business and Technology and the Senate for the confirmation of the respective bachelor's degrees of UMA University. Department of Business Management Bachelor of Business Management, Second Class Honours, Upper Division, Amuna Muna Abdul, Esha Mohammed, Fatma Mohammed Mahamud, Habiba Abdi Elema, Ikram Adan Guyo, Kamar Abdi, Abdi Salam, Second Class Honours, Lower Division, Abdilaman Ahmed Omar, Dikra Faris, Musa Isaac Golo, Department of Computer Science, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Second Class Honors Upper Division, Abdukadil Dawood Garo, Juwairia Hadira Ali. Mr. Chancellor Sir, in the year 2019-2020 academic year, the following 12 candidates whom I have the honor to present to you satisfy the Board of Examiners in the School of Nursing and Midwifery and the Senate for the confirmation of the respective Bachelor degree of Uma University. Bachelor of Science Nursing, uh, Anissa Abubakar Faki, Aisha Abdi, Aisha Abdi Dahir, Fatuma A Said, Ibrahim Mohammed, Ifra Abdinur, Chawair Kasim, uh, Khadija Aden, Katra Abdi Dahir, 
Latifa Osman, Mohamed Osman Kulmie, Sauda Hassan Isaac, Tariq Mohamed Haji. Our best overall student in School of Nursing and Midwifery is Ifra Abdinur. Congratulations. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor Sir, in the year 2019-2020, academic year, the following 29 candidates, whom I have the honor to present to you, satisfied the Board of Examiners in the School of Sharia and Islamic Studies, the Senate for the Confirmation of Respective Degree of Omar University. Bachelor of Arts in Islamic Sharia. First class on us, Abdullahi Ahmed Muhammad, Bishar Isaac Kobo, Muhammad Ulad Barkhatle, Naima Abdul Gadir Abdul Rahman, Yusuf Abdullah Yusuf. Second class on us, Abba Division, Abdul Aziz Muhammad Garane, Abdul Rashid Farah Wasame, Abdul Salan Kadid Muhammad, Abdi Qadir Yusuf, Adam Usman Juma, Awad Nasir Masad, Dinia Ali Karama, Faiza Abdi Mahamud, Faiza Ali Sharif, Ibrahim Mahamud Nur, Jamaluddin Nuruddin Musa, Omar Hassan Muita. Second class on a lower division. Abdi Khair Abdi Nur Barre, Hassan Abdi Badi. Bachelor of Arts in Islamic Studies. First class on us. Abdullahi Nur Malim, Muhammad Ahmed Ali, Sharif Abdullahi Abdi. Second class on us, Abba Division. Abdullahi Adam Malim, Aisha Malim Mahamud, Haret Salat Nur, Hussein Sheikh Muhammad, Muhammad Duwane Ali, Second class on us, lower division. Fadosa Ali Omar, Ismail Mouli Daoud. I request the Chancellor to confer the degrees on Fajr. Admit the persons named to the respective bachelor's degree of Umma University for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give power to read and to do all that appertains to this degree. Chancellor, sir, in 2019-2020 academic year, the following 94 candidates, whom I have the honor to present to you, satisfied the Board of Examiners in the School of Business and Technology and the Senate for the award of the respective diplomas of Uma University. Diploma in Business Management, Abdirahman Ali, Distinction, Abdiraman Ali, Fatma Nasir, Feryuz Ibrahim, Hafsa Mohammed Dahir, Husna Zaid, Kaifa Ali, Mohammed Hussein, Mohammed Yusfu, Najma Abdi, Nasra Hussein, Shukri Abdi, Suada Mohammed, Swafa Shakan, Umkadei Fara, Hawa. Credit, sorry, credit, Abdi Hakim Mohammed Nur, Aisha Hassan, Amina Aden, Amina Tawane, 
Aminati Roba, and Farun Siyad, Dales Mohammed, Deku Ahmed, Habiba Hassan, Hafsa Mohammed, Hamadi Isa, Hawa Mohammed, Ifra Abdi, Ikram Ahmed, Ilham Abdrizak, Isaac Hazan, Jafar Harit, Katim Bakari, Leila Ahmed, Maimuna Isaac, Malia Mohammed, Mohammed Abdullahi, Mohammed Ab uh, Bikar, Mohammed Hamud, Mohammed Omar, Mohammed Yusuf, Mohammed Amin, Nasra Abdi, Nasra Hamisi, Nur Dagei, Osman Walsame, Ramathan Said, Swalha Swale, Yakub Ibrahim, Yusra Ali, Yusuf Mohammed, Zakaria Isaac, Zamzan Hassan, Zaid Harith. Pass. Abriyaman Farah, Ab Abubakar Isaac. Diploma in Islamic Banking and Finance. Distinction. Asifa Ali Mohammed, Sharif Mohammed wa Kenya, Yusuf Marashi. Credit, Abdi Hakim Aliu, Abdullahi Kad uh, Bekita, Alia Ibrahim, Muna Ibrahim, Osman Dubo, Ritan Ali, Salim Mohammed, Sulaiman Ayub, Pass, Halima Mohammed Dahir. Diploma in Human Resource Management, Credit, Aisha Ahmed, Daoud Mohammed, Fardoza Kafo, Umkatum Ibrahim. Diploma in Information, Communication and Technology. Distinction, Mabruka Abbas. Credit, Abdigan Adan, Abdi Hamid Mohammed, Abdrizak Abbas, Abijan Omar, Ahmed Yusuf, Ayub Sheikh, Jilo Jaso, Kobo Mwiji, Mamo Barak, Barak Swale Daki, Mohammed Amin, Muhammad Swale, Musad Musa, Mwakinyinia Rashid, Samia Yaya, Saum Said, Seki Nalidi, Shufa Shef, Zuhura Taka, Zueda Adan, Pass, Abdi Hakim Hassan, Abdrisak Garan. Mr. Chancellor Sal, in the year 2019-2020, academic year, the following 23 candidates, whom I have the honor to present to you, satisfied the Board of Examiners in the School of Sharia and Islamic Studies and the Senate for the award of respective diploma of Oma University. Diploma in Arabic and Islamic Studies, Amina Muhammad Abdullahi, Adam Haji Abdullah, Ahmed, Adam Ahmed, Ali Abdullahi Hussein, Isradin Muhammad Ibrahim, Muhammad Hussein Yusuf, Umar Siraz O'King, Sayyid Muhammad Gogo, Abdirizak Sheikh, Suhaila Mahamud, Sumaya Jafar Qasim, Yusuf Juma Ismail, Khalid, Abdullah Salat Abdi, Abdul Rahman Yahya Nur, Abdul Hakim Jaldesa Sama, Anjala Mashari Hassan, Smahan Abdi, Amina Abdi Diria, Fathia Hussein Abdi, Fatuma Tahir, Hudayfa Muhammad Abdullah, Ibrahim Ramadan, Eid Juma Muakuria, Idris Ali Malaw, Kamora Abdul. Karim Ali, Lula Naima, Maryam Hussein Abdullah, Noura Umar Juma, Salat Muhammad Adam, Lutfa Abdullah Salim, Bast, Rashid Mark, Sumaya Muhammad, Yusuf Hassan Abdi. I request the Chancellor to award the diploma on Fajr.
acting on the powers conferred by the University Act 2012, and knowing that you have satisfied the University Senate in all subjects in which you were enrolled, trained, and examined, it gives me great pleasure to award you the respective diplomas of UMA University. Mr. Chancellor Sir, in 2019-2020 academic year, the following 232 candidates whom I have the honor to present to you satisfied the Board of Examiners in the School of Business and Technology and the Senate for the award of the respective certificates of UMA University. Certificate in Business Management, Distinction, Abdi Godana, Abshil Adan, Alam Swale, Ahmed Abdi, Barwako Hassan, Elhan Mohammed, Fatma Bashir, Fatma Hussein, Maslahuddin Abdi, Masood, Abrizak, Mukhtar Salat, Rabi Yassin, Rama Abdi, Sabto Abdurrahman, Zainab Ali Abbas. Credit. Abdikani Siati, Abdirahi Dahir, Abdinaji Yusuf, Abdishukri Sharif, Abdiwahid Aliyo, Abdiweli Muhammad, Abduba Tume, Abdullahi Adan, Abdullahi Hussein, Abdullahi Dahil, Abubaka Galib, Abubaka Muhammad, Adam Muhammad, Adan Daud, Aden Abdi, Ado Ahmed, Afifa Mukhtar, Ahmed Mohamed, Ahmed Omar, Aisha Kuso, Amina Mohamed, Amina Saud, Amina Nur, Ayan Abdi, Badar Yusuf, Bashir Hassan, Bishara Hussein, Buda, Budaina Adila, Ab, Abdurrahman, Karo Mweni, Dahil Abdurrahman, Dahil Abdi, Faria Haji, Farouk Baus, Fatma Ali, Fatma Idle, Fidoz Ali, Fozia Salat, Hani Aisa, Hassan Farah, Hassan Katra, Hassan Mahat, Hassan Hamiz, Hibo Abdi, Abdi Bale, Husna Namwazo, Ibrahim Hamsa, Iglan Hussein, Ilham Robo, Imran Sadiq, Jamila Wanjiro, Kautuma Diba, Kasim Aisha, Katra Mursa, Khadija Ibrahim, Khadija Salim, Khadija Sehel, Kalib Abdullahi, Mamid uh, Karif, Mariam Hashim, Mariam Kasim, Marwa Nasir, Mohammed Abdullahi, Mohammed Aden, Mohammed Ahmed, Mohammed Burhan, Mohammed Farah, Mohammed Khalif, Mohammed Lule Salat, Mohammed Nur, Mohammed Abdi, Mubarak Ahmed, Musdaf Abdi Malik, Nabil Mwango, Nasra Mahamud, Neema Ali Kazungu, Nuru Olekomulu, Omar Haitman, Rabia Abubaka, Saad Salim, Saido Ahmed, Shamim Sehel, Sharif Ali, Sharifa Ahmed, Mohammed, Sumaya Hamis, Umu Kulthum, Yasim Zubeya, Yunus uh, Ahmed, Yusuf Abdi, Yusuf Malim, Zamzam Abdurrahman, Zamzam Muhammad Ahmed. Pass. Abdinur Kahin, Ali Muhammad, Amina Aden, Amran Farah, Deka Ibrahim, Farhia Bale, Gedi Ali, Ikra Jamar, Khalid Aden, Marian Ahmed, Nasra Abdi, Omar Hassan, Kwadar Yusuf, Shafi Doya, Zamzam Ahmed Ali. Certificate in Human Resource Management, Credit. Abdi Fatah Hassan, Abdi Rage Nur, Abdi Samad Adan, Hawa Mohammed, Ismahan Isaac, Malyun Abdi Nur, Somane Siad, Mohammed Salat, Isa Mohammed, Ikran Abdi, Ado Mohammed, Mohammed Abdi, 
Ahmed Nur, Fatma Isa, Marianne Abdullahi Ibrahim, Bilo Adan, Yusuf Rama, Fozia Mohamed, Abdi Adan Adan, Isaac Eden, Habiba Ibrahim, Naima Abdi Baraka, Pass, Ibrahim Salat Abdi, Amina Morid Mohamed, Certificate in Supply Chain Management, Credit, Dubon Elmoge, Halima Dolly, Yusuf Hassan Mohamed, Mohamud Abdile, Sugol Kasim, Ahmed Hanan, Mohamed Jimale. Certificate in Information, Communication and Technology. Distinction. Aisha Mohamed, Ali Hassan Ali, Amina Nechesa. Credit, Abbas Mohamed Isaac, Abdi Ali, Abdi Fatah Haji, Abdi Kani Farah, Abdi Laman Adan, Abdi Rahman Nur, Abdi Rizak Farah, Abdi Sali Mohamed, Abdu Majid Bile, Abdu Kwader Taib, Abdu Razak Abdi, Ahmed Hassan Bino, Ali Said, Aliya Hussein, Amina Abdi, Amina Ali, Asha Isaac, Athman Lethome, Ayan Adan, Ayan Idris, Bishar Sibire, Dilie Ahmed, Ahmed Abdi, Faldoza Elmi, Faldoza Abdi, Faldoza Mohamed, Faria Sheikh, Fatma Sahar, Fauzia Ahmed, Fizo Mohamed, Hared Abdile, Hassan Ali Omar, Hassan Johar, Ibrahim Alasso, Ibrahim Mohamed, Ismail Hussein Ade, Ise Abdullahi, Jimale Mude, Jueira Fatma, Kaltuma Abdi, Kaltuma Gedi, Karul Anzal, Khadija Amen, Khadija Jele, Malim Hussein, Marian Yusuf, Mithal Ali, Mohamed Adan, Mohamed Aden, Mohamed Ahmed Mohamed, Mohamed Ibrahim, Mohamed Yassin, Mohamed Nur Ahmed, Nasridin Malim, Omar Idris, Ruth Suta, Sadia Issa, Sonwoine Adan, Suleiman Haret, Suduz Jama, Tariq Hassan, Yasir Abdi, Yasmin Mohamud, Zueida Adan, Pass, Abdi Nasir Hussein, Abdi Nur Mohamed, Abdi Rahman Mohamed, Abdullahi Mohamed, Ahmed Ab Abdullahi, Ahmed Muayyadin Nur, Ebla Salat, Halima Ali, Halima Jele, Hassan Abdi Yusuf, Idris Khalif, Mohamed Omar, Sadiq Gurale, Shukri Mohamed Abdi. Mr. Chancellor, sir. the year 2019-2020 academic year, the following 33 candidates whom I have the honor to present to you satisfied the Board of Examiners in the School of Sharia and Islamic Studies and the Senate for the award of respective certificate of Omar University. Certificate in Arabic and Islamic Studies. Abdurrahman Khalifa, Hashim Faradella, Hassano Adan Khalif, Hussein Ibrahim Hussein, Kamara Umar, Khatiwa Usman Young, Kamara Muhammad, Mayodi Yusuf, Musa Bogoya Donati, Muturi Jennifer Ungai, Salim Kibwan, Shabibo Omar, Kirlit, Hadija Hussein, Adam Shoaibilo, Ahmed Abdelkadir, 
احمد صدیق علی سالم پنچی جواکو زمزم آدم خوکو محمد سعاد محمد منا جاسو مبارک عبدالواحد رحمة يوسف أمالي عبد الباسط عمر إبراهيم عمر علي مص ربيع ياسين عزيزة سالم يوسف حسن سهرة قيو بس أمينة عبد الله أمينة ونجير I request Chancellor to award the certificate on Fajr Acting on the powers conferred by the University Act 2012 and knowing that you have satisfied the University Senate in all subjects in which you were enrolled, trained and examined, it gives me great pleasure to award you the respective certificates of Umma University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, just before we conclude, I would like to invite our Chancellor. We have a very sweet cake for the purpose of uh, ISO celebration. We'll cut the cake. We'd like to invite our Vice Chancellor and the Chancellor and the Bonifacio. Mr. Chancellor, sir, it is now my pleasure to invite Uma University Vice Chancellor Dr. Idle Farah to dissolve this third graduation of Uma University. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor, sir, by the powers vested in me by the UMA University Statute 32, Article 6, I now dissolve the third congregation of UMA University. Thank you.
Thank you all for those uh, viewing us online. That's the end of our third graduation. We will close with the national anthem. Let's start.